When we encounter the expression infinity divided by infinity, we're venturing into mathematical territory that isn't as straightforward as ordinary division. Unlike dividing regular numbers where six divided by two gives us exactly three, infinity isn't actually a number, but a concept representing endlessness. When mathematicians work with infinity, they're really talking about limits, what happens as values grow without bound. Infinity divided by infinity is what mathematicians call an indeterminate form, because its value depends entirely on the specific functions involved. For example, if we take the limit of x2 plus x as x approaches infinity, we get infinity. But if we take x plus x, we get one being completely different answers from the same indeterminate form. Mathematicians develop special techniques like L'Hopital's rule specifically to deal with these indeterminate forms by transforming them into expressions that do have defined limits. Throughout mathematical history, infinity has challenged our understanding, with thinkers from ancient Greece to modern times developing increasingly sophisticated ways to work with infinite concepts. The plot thickens when we learn that not all infinities are equal. Some infinite sets are actually larger than others, as proven by mathematician Georg Cantor. So when we write infinity divided by infinity, we're not performing a simple division, but asking a profound question about the relationship between potentially different infinite processes. This indeterminacy isn't a failure of mathematics, but rather a reminder that infinity requires careful treatment, pushing us to think deeply about the foundations of mathematical reasoning itself.